Hello everyone. If you ever found a popular video on YouTube, you would most likely would have found the video on your recommended video section on your home page or on a, another video. But who put it there? Nobody is going to sit down and recommend your videos. And how do they know what videos would you like out of the 8 billion videos on YouTube? Well, the AI does it for them. Every time you click on a video on YouTube, AI or a bot takes note and recommends you similar videos. You most likely would have found this video if you watch tech related videos and every time you click on the recommended video, it tries to predict what you will watch next and also take notes. That's basically what an AI does. It's an artificial form of intelligence which we made to do our own job. This all started with an AI research started in 1956 in Dartmouth College where a few students and teachers created an AI that was described as astonishing by the press. What did that AI do? That AI could actually beat an average player at checkers. During the 1960s and 1970s, the US Department of Defense started to fund AI research for military purposes. However, the research was stopped as they failed to realize the problems ahead of them and also the lack of computing power. During this period to the start of 1980s there was a lack of funding towards AI and this phase came to be known as the AI winter with the early 1980s the research was started again due to the success of expert systems and stopped again due to the technical limitations of the lisp machine what were the lisp machines they were the first kind of computers we use however they were still huge after this came another AI winter this one lasting till the mid 90s when due to the rise of computing power AI research was started again. Due to this Deep Blue became the first AI to beat a world champion at chess. During the 2000s IBM launched its own AI called IBM Watson which appeared on US question answer show Jeopardy and not surprisingly answered all the questions correctly. AI research is still going strong as seen by the recent AI humanoid Sophia and the recently released robot Pepper. However, what we generally use on internet are bots. They are designed for one specific thing, such as bots that analyze text will be required by Reddit, Facebook, Twitter. Bots that analyze images will be required by Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, Snapchat. And bots that analyze videos will be required by Facebook, YouTube, Reddit, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. These are analyzed to check for hate speech or nudity to keep the site friendly. There are more uses of bots such as to set prices which a human could do better but probably not as fast as a bot. Have you ever seen the price of a ticket tick up with time? Well that's because a bot said so. Bot may not be perfect at it but it takes notes and gets better. YouTube also uses a bot like I said in the start of the video but they have two jobs. One to rank videos you may want to watch and second to block videos which may break YouTube's guidelines. It does both simultaneously and it is still slowly developing since it was launched. Well, the future of AI includes everything from robot doctors, cyborg humans, caretaking robots and basically anything that you see in a sci-fi robot film, including a very deadly way it could all go wrong. A few militaries start to use the technology to create cyborg soldiers or complete robot soldiers like the Terminator. Seeing everything escalate, AI generals launch a bigger attack, commencing a bigger war, coming to an end with the AI doesn't see this as sorrow, it sees it as a higher chance of winning and it will do everything in its power to destroy everything or another possibility is where AI art smarts us and tries to kill us all due to our incompetence. And that's all for today's video. If you like my content then subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thanks for watching the video guys.